My name is Matthias Matai. I'm an obstetrician. I've been working in maternal health for the last uh, three decades or more. I work currently for the World Health Organization. Now in my practice I've seen many births and I still remember witnessing the birth of my children. That is a joyous occasion. That I'm sure every mother and every baby, uh, the birth of every mother and a baby are a joyous occasion for the whole family and for the community. But I've also seen complications and I've seen many mothers and babies suffer from complications in time. The World Health Estimate Organization estimates that over 287,000 women die every year because of complications that happen during pregnancy, during childbirth or after childbirth. The World Health Organization and partners believe that this occurs because of conditions like high blood pressure, bleeding during pregnancy or bleeding after childbirth, uh, prolonged and obstructed labor, infections and so on. But this doesn't tell all the story, this doesn't tell the entire story. Women die of complication, yes, but they also die for other reasons. Often when a complication arises, there is a delay in recognizing the problem and deciding to seek care. Even after having decided to seek care, there's a delay in reaching the place where they can receive care. And after reaching the place of care, there's again a delay in getting their appropriate care in a timely fashion. So many reasons why this can, why women can die. Now it's okay to say it's perhaps, you know, we can say an estimated 287,000 women die. And we can say this happens because of these conditions. We also can say it happens more often in South Asia and Africa. But to whether you're 287,000 women or dying or whether it's 60,000 women dying, it really doesn't matter. Every maternal death is a tragedy and that's something we need to, to avoid. Now what can we do about that? Numbers do not really tell us the story. We need to go into more depth. And that's what the World Health Organization and partners are promoting. We are promoting something called maternal death surveillance and response. Each maternal death is something which is very important. It's like an infectious disease. If you have a major infectious disease outbreak, you'd like to have it notified, <coughs> notified immediately. And the notification should lead to further action which is looking at why the woman died, you know, what are the causes which could have been avoided or prevented, what are the timely actions which could have been implemented. And then based on the action, we need to come up with some recommendations which will prevent the same thing from happening again to other mothers and babies. So here we are talking about a system which is called maternal death surveillance and response. And we believe that using the system, countries would be able to achieve the targets of trying to reduce or prevent or end preventable maternal mortality.